A Singapore sports fraternity is moving up a gear in the fight against abuse and harassment. A new disciplinary panel has been formed to oversee and resolve such cases, both physical and psychological in nature. This comes about a year after the Safe Sport Commission launched guidelines on what's considered inappropriate actions. Alif Amsha reports. It's another shot in the arm to tackle inappropriate behaviour in sports. The panel will look into such allegations guided by the Unified Code. If it finds that an offence has been made out uh, or contravention of the Unified Code, it can then take appropriate action. And, and the powers available to the panel are quite wide. Some of the sanctions include imposing contact limitations between the athlete and and. and Coach Winston, um, warnings, probation, suspensions, and in serious cases, permanent ineligibility. This is part of efforts to make Singapore's sports scene safer. In 2018, a 28-year-old football coach was sentenced to jail and caning for sexually assaulting seven boys aged between 8 and 11. Similar misconducts were also reported in athletics and rope skipping. What's also important um, about the panel is it provides a transparent and, and clear case management process. And more importantly, it provides assurance to all parties involved, including the respondent, that due, res due process has been followed. The panel comprises 18 members, including this former national long-distance runner. She's also one of several lawyers on the panel. Let's say the, the complaint is perhaps uh, targeted at... Um, uh, inappropriate training methods, then uh, that is where some of the expertise from uh, ex-athletes in various sports would come into play because they can uh, provide some insight as to what is considered an appropriate training method and what is uh, simply going be, uh, uh, beyond the, 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 the line. It's a move lauded by athletes such as national boxer Danish Husley. We are a really small NSA with a couple of members, if something were to happen, I feel like it's going to be hard to report it because you go to person A, person A is close to person B, person B is going to tell person C. It may end up that the whole association may be against you. For athletes, if you have this uh, panel to lean on, you're going to feel like, hey, someone is actually watching over you. There are plans to expand the Safe Sport program beyond national sports associations to include private sport operators.